some new faces here. So I'm going to quickly go through this just so that you know who I am. Uh, a number of you do know me. You've been on a, you know, we've been in conferences and programs and so forth. So you, you kind of, uh, we've met and so forth. And I'm grateful to, to, to be in, you know, to have you in my inner circle. But very quickly about me, I own a, profit, a lifestyle profitable 14 person practice. It's called Straight Talk CPAs. Uh, it was it's 26 years in the making. Uh, recently took it to making it all virtual. So now we've got a team that's all fully virtual, distributed around the world. And we've got clients that are distributed all around in the country. Um, most of last year, seven and a half months or so, I traveled the world. And yeah, and that was in 2022. And we did, my wife and myself, we traveled the world and we did it in two parts. First one was uh, five months a five month trip like totally out in <laughs> out in the wilderness for five months and then came back for a month and a half or so uh, came back stayed in a beach condo in Jacksonville Florida or maybe two months and then uh did our part two and there's going to be a part three that's going to come up and I'll share with you why that's even possible more possible now uh, and I've been working with you know firm owners for the last uh, 12, 14 years through CPA Marketing Genius. So that's a little bit about me there. And uh, World Tour took us to almost 20 different countries in the world. This is like some of the places we visited, the pins, but it's not fully updated. <laughs> oh, the top there, US, Portugal, Spain. Yeah, just so many, so many different countries, but there's more, almost 20 that we, we did. And I uh, just shared, got lots of memories with my wife, saw some amazing places in the world, and I'm grateful for that. And when I returned, and this is kind of why, why I shared all this with you, because all the traveling gave me time to get out and um, just reflect. And I started asking some important questions. And the question I was asking is, like, I've created a successful firm. I've got a system, it's, it's, a, it's a lifestyle firm where I'm working part-time. Yeah, we've got a system where I'm bringing in high-value clients. What is next for me? I'm 58 years old in age. Like where, where do I wanna go for the next 15 years, 20 years of my life, right? So what's next for me? How can I be more productive? How can I continue staying excited about my profession, my career, right? And I've, I did what I've done, but now I'm ready for kind of the next level. How can I be more productive? How can I use my skills to do something that I enjoy while I 10X my ROI? So right, some of the questions I started reflecting on and the solution is here. Obtain an equity position in many businesses. And I would, you know, and getting paid to vet deals that lead to income plus equity, because that, in my mind, is what leads to results in wealth. Every day, if you're doing stuff that's in bringing in income and it's creating equity, we've got this, this whole equation works, works, works well. And, and, and it appealed to me. And I stumbled across this gentleman here. His name is Roland Frazier. Some of you guys may have heard him, know him. But he's not really out there in the limelight, even though he's like super popular. He's got, he's got, he's a co-owner, principal in six like Inc. magazine companies. And over the last five decades, he's done a thousand plus deals in like all industry, all like, you know various industries you can imagine. He's got a current portfolio of okay, there it is, six different uh, Inc. magazine fastest growing companies: e-commerce, e-learning, real estate, SaaS. Uh, 38 companies, he co is, is, he's got an equity share in 38 companies with sales volume of 4.48 billion. And these are some of the names that he currently owns. And I just couldn't fit all of them on a slide. So, yeah. So I stumbled across Roland. Now I'd met Roland um, 15 or so years back at a conference in San Diego. And I attended a few of these annual conferences by Ryan Dice Digital and uh, dig digital uh, digital and marketing conference or digital summit or something, something, digital and conversion summits. So I attended this huge mega conferences in San Diego and Roland was somebody who was on the stage there 
And I was always impressed by him. You know, he's quiet and I could kind of relate to him. He's, you know, he's not out there and, you know, he's not like salesy kind of a guy. He's a kind of, he was in the rich, you know, in the law profession. He was an attorney by, by education, but he had, he had this mind for structuring deals and, and, and building wealth uh, through equity, through ownership in other businesses. So I came across Roland recently, fairly recently, and I was like, man, this guy, he's, he's the guy. I want to connect with him. I want him to mentor me. And so he is. And I'm really, really excited about, about that. Um, and this is why consulting for equity appealed to me as a CPA firm owner. I'm going to share with you a few things here. Number one, it allows me to leverage my network and relationships. And I feel a CPA firm owner is the best person on the planet with our relationships and the network and the trust and the trust we have built over the years doing what we do. That cannot be discounted, folks. That is the real value in what you've done. Over these years, this is the real value that you've really created. And we, are, we, we don't even realize it. And I didn't realize it. And I now kind of become even more oh, like conscious about it, right? So it allows me to leverage my network and relationships. I can use my financial skills and knowledge in businesses, working with different businesses and different industries to help companies grow and then get ownership in the process. Now, I can be anywhere in the world. So it works perfectly well for me because I want to do a part three, yeah, uh, in my world tour. So if you do want to travel, you can do this. You can continue doing that from anywhere in the world. It's got unlimited upside. And I'll give you an example of a deal I did that uh, you'll, you'll kind of see the numbers. And you get paid to vet deals with paid half-day consults. You consult once and you get paid forever. Unlike the traditional consulting, you're like, okay, I'm going to consult with you and then it's goodbye or I'll call you when I need you kind of a thing from the client. Here, we get paid forever. Yeah. Is everybody, everybody with me? Is this sounding, is, it make, is this making sense to you so far? And this is how you get the consulting income. Your fee, whatever fee you charge to the client, you got to bring in 10x a 10x value that you give to the client from that consultation. So if you want to charge a very low fee for a two-hour consult or a four-hour consult or 500, it's a half a day consult. So let's say it's four, four hours and you want to give a 10x value, you're going to bring $5,000, 500 times 10 is 5,000. You're going to give the client you're consulting with value of $5,000. Now, if you want to charge $2,000, and 10x, 10x that, so 10 times 2,000 is $20,000. You can give your, agree, give your client $20,000 of value. And I'll give you some examples of where, how we can bring a lot of value to the clients we consult with because we've got an amazing uh, skills, amazing experience, background, knowledge, uh, being in the profession we are, that we can. We can. 10 consults per month, $20,000 plus you're earning equity, right? The accounting industry has changed early on. Yeah, there, I shared with that with you. You know that. You've seen that. Uh, you're reading about it. You're watching other web webinars, trainings, and you, it's kind of all, all around you. The role of the CPA has changed in the last decade. Do it yourself. Software, low-cost providers, they've, drawn, they've driven the fee low for compliance work. And there's no money with compliance work. And with what I'm sharing here with consulting for equity, where you become a part owner, you get equity in, in a business, you utilize your skills and your vast experience to get additional consulting income. That's additional supplemental income. Run your business as you are, your practice. This is additional supplemental income that you're, 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 you're doing, <laughs> plus you're building wealth. Okay. I want to talk about the positioning, the, the mental positioning that one you you wanna you wanna have when it comes to this. 
So you're either the genius or the hell. You want to be the genius. You're the mentor, not a consultant. So you become their mentor. You have a, you're a profit center, not a cost. You have the connections and solutions your clients need. So you start getting paid like a genius. And that's the, the mindset, yeah? The way you want to position yourself is that you're a mentor. So start changing your social media profile, your LinkedIn profile, where you're a mentor, you're an investor, rather than you're a, you know, a CPA consultant or a business advisor or a CFO, right? You kind of, kind of change, the, you switch to becoming a mentor and an investor. So three different types of deal structures, consulting for equity, right? And I'll share with you which one I, I've, I went, you know, I, did, you know I, I got into recently and what it means for me. And that's one of, that's going to be a start to, to many more. Deal, number, deal type number one, you earn into equity. Face there is coming in the way. All right. So deal type number one, you earn into equity as an advisor or strategist. So these are uh, VC, venture capital funded companies. You get a quarter to 25%. Yeah. You're their advisor, you're a strategist, and you get a, a small fraction percentage of that company. Second type of a deal is an operating deal where you bring your skill, skills as a financial, as a financial guy, a CFO, growth, yeah, a growth. Uh, genius, a profitability, et cetera. And you earn an equity as an operations mentor for fixed or performance-based 5 to 75%, right? So there's certain milestones and you get, uh, you get equity once the company reaches that certain milestones, whatever those may be pre-understood pre you know, in advance, what those are, and you start getting equity there. And then deal type number three is a transactional deal. You earn equity with a one-time event, like an acquisition. So this business, you help them acquire a, a company or several companies. And with each acquisition, you get equity or it's an exit that you get, you know, you help them prepare for that exit. And so it's, 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 um, it's a, that's why it's a transactional deal, right? You help them prepare for that exit. And on the exit of that business, you be, you're an equity uh, you're, you 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 have the equity as well, and you 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 get have a rich uh, payday, or help them get funding, right? All different examples where you can be a transaction facilitator and get one to twenty percent of the of the business. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to share with you a, a you know uh, one that I came into, uh, kind of by. You know, I wasn't, I'm not as, in, I wasn't as intention, intentional about it as I am now and going forward, right? So I'm really learning from the master with Roland Frazier, the guy I shared with you. But here's one that I, that I stumbled across, and that's why I kind of know the power of this. And you, you will, you know, you'll, you'll probably make that same conclusion here. So in January 2022, so last year, I got a 3% equity in this company called Target Tech. And you can check it out, targettech.ai. I became a strategic advisor. And when you go on that, you'll see me, you know, I'm on the board of directors on the website. I think it's in the about us, maybe right there in the nav bar on the top of the picture. Uh, there's board of, you know, there's a board of directors, board of advisors and so forth. Uh, so I became a strategic advisor. And so here's what my time commitment is for this organization. Uh, I, you know, for myself, Right, we do a Zoom call once a month for ninety minutes. Right, we help them with their accounting and tax financial stuff. Um, we don't. We charge. Uh, it's at cost, so we don't. You know, make a profit, and I'm fine with that. We, I mean, our we would probably charge. You know, my fees is about ten thousand dollars or twelve thousand dollars. That's probably what we charge. So we charge them six thousand dollars a year for accounting and tax services, and I'm fine with that because. I got a 3% equity in this company and its current company valuation is 10 million. So 3% is $300,000. And the exit is we're planning an exit within five years. And we, you know, it, the valuation is going up every, every, every moment. Um, it's partnered, this company we've, we've partnered 
with uh, Amazon, AWS, Guidescent, Allen, and several others that uh, some really high, high big, big players. So it's really becoming, you know, it's really growing in value and we're planning an exit of 100 million in five years. So it's going to be a very rich exit from this uh, $3 million exit from this one, from this one situation here, this one client uh, or one, one, you know, one uh, investment, uh, equity investment, consulting for equity, right? So there are many others. Yeah, there's, there's, there can be many others from the network that you have. So this, it's a five-step plan. Number one is you position yourself as a mentor plus protect against personal liability. So put it out there. Yeah, start really kind of becoming in your, in your mind saying, yeah, you are, you're a mentor, you're, a, you're an investor. And so you, you position yourself that from, from, a, from, from that standpoint. And then you start sourcing consulting gigs. You monetize yours and others' geniuses. I'll talk about that in just a moment. Get paid to provide transformational value plus create recurring revenues. And you build generational wealth with equity. So this is really creating wealth that goes beyond you, that goes to your children, to your grandchildren. I mean, I'm talking about that type of wealth. And I believe we are all positioned to tap into that. We are, I believe, the best because of our experience, our backgrounds, the trust we have, how we, are, how we are seen in the marketplace, we are in the best place to really now tap into that. So whatever you have built, uh, gone through struggles and ups and downs, you're in a certain place where you can now really 10x, 10x that. Sourcing deals, what can you consult on? Uh, so many different areas, profit maximization, M&A, risk management, cash flow management, IT and technology integration, Sustain depending on your background. I mean, you know, there's folks from different, you know, they've got different experiences and backgrounds. Real estate, property investment, strategy, operations, leadership, innovation, funding, finance, and the list goes on, right? So these are different areas that, you know, finance, of course, funding, uh, how to you know build a, uh, an exit strategy, um, different kinds of things that uh, different kinds of areas that you can be the expert on, and and do that. Um, and your positioning is that every decision the business makes impacts their finances, right? Anything and everything a business is going to do, it's going to affect their financial statements. It's going to affect their financial their p and is going to affect the balance sheet. So you advise them before they execute, uh, before they, you know, they execute this. Uh, my situation, the client I just mentioned to you, right? Uh, we're looking at section uh, Target Tech, the, the, the company that I own 3% equity in now uh, since last year. Uh, you know, section 1202, does that make sense for them? What are the rules, right? Uh, we're, I'm in a position with my team as well, right? I, I, yeah, this is some stuff that I lean on my team as well of, you know, experts, uh, you know, I've got that right within, within my firm. But even if I didn't, I'll tell you how we can tap into that. Um, and we were able, we're able to advise this client and the shareholders that this is what section 12, 1202 is. There's like eight or nine requirements that he needs to fulfill and so forth. So before they do anything, yeah, my firm, myself, I'm able to help them from a financial and tax expert, a strategic advisor. That's my role. Number two is find the biggest profit opportunities in the business. And there are many. Uh, there are many opportunities for businesses, over like 100 different types of things one can look at to see, hey, are there ways, what, what are the ways we can uh, optimize the profits of, of that business? And we deliver needle moving results to be able to charge high fees and get equity, right? So that's the positioning uh, we deliver, you know, we, we, that, that uh, you wanna have. How to deliver results, this is really important. It's combining your skills with the skills of others. You don't need to be an expert. You don't need to know everything 
around it. You've got certain skills you bring to the table and you combine them through the magic of genius arbitrage. Yeah. Other people sell their genius for pennies to the dollar. Like whatever I mean by that is you can buy an out, you know, a consultant. You can get a, an expert in any area, any one of these areas. I'm going to go to the previous slide. Right? Any of these areas, you can buy help. You can get buy consulting help. And you can get, yeah, you can get the best of the best in the in the world for pennies to the dollar. Right? You don't have to be an expert on government contracts and grants, for example. I'm not. Yeah, no clue. <laughs> That's not been my expertise. You know, I bring my expertise, but if I was in, in a situation where I'm, you know, meeting with the company, I'm talking to them and there's uh, there is an opportunity there with government contracts and grants, I am going to find an expert that I can bring into the mix. And with my network, with relationships, and with my resources, anyone can do that. So I'm just going to proceed on to the next couple of slides there. So it's other people sell their geniuses, their genius for pennies to the dollar. So you buy other people's genius and you arbitrage it for consulting gigs, right? So we need somebody who is an expert on government grants, as an example, um, 500, then they, they're the best of the best. So they charge say $500 an hour, or they charge $750 an hour, and we need two hours of the time. So that comes becomes part of the mix. Yeah, your consulting arrangement is a certain dollar amount, and you need to bring that expert in, you can, right? You can. And there are many different places to find these experts. I mean, LinkedIn is, you know, it's definitely one of them. And I didn't even put it here, but there's like sites where you can really search, you know, and find experts that you can, you can do, you know, get the genius, that, you know, for, from them. Top three areas to consult. Obvious ones for us, um, profit maximization. Uh, that's a hot one. People, you know, businesses, they want to maximize their profits. We can come in and uh, help them with that, with how tuned in we are with financials and what we see there, looking at trends, looking at history, comparing it to, uh, you know, to other businesses, you know, and so forth. We can, we can do that, getting them exit ready or funding for expansion. So those are the three top consults, but there's many more and uh, businesses would be willing when wanting to get an expert who can help them. It's a half day consult. So it starts there. Great opportunity for you to vet them if they are right for you, uh, present to them uh, how you can continue helping them. Right. And uh, essentially, yeah, you're vetting the deal and you're seeing, is this going to be the right fit? Is that somebody, you know, a company you want to, you know, you want to become you want to have an equity share in. 